Hello fellow noobs. It's a noob no more here. Uh, a risk grandmaster looking to grow the community through some informative and competitive gameplay at times and then some really silly stuff at the other times. We're going for uh, some rank up play today. So it's somewhere in the middle, I guess. It's not uh, competitive. I guess it's rank up if you want to call ranking up competitive. We're trying to redeem some points back. Hence the name Redemption Arc. Uh, we're trying to get some points back that we lost playing a World Dom progressive game in order to get back in um, to get back to Grand Master. Ooh, these blizzards are interesting. These blizzards are really interesting. All right, so I've got to pick a... There's some really choky places now. Purple goes to Siam. Uh, Spitzer says, I'm glad my intermission scene is castles and not memes. They would be too dark and get me cancelled immediately. Yeah, fair enough. Oh, we saw yellow go underneath purple. You'd love to see it. I haven't put any rank um, limitations on this one at all. So you're going to have everybody from novice to grandmaster. I think we can say that yellow is an novice, a novice. Now, normally, Afghanistan is a fantastic cap. But I get the sense... Oh, I was going to say red should have capped there. I'm trying to work out whether or not to go here or here. And I think my caps connection map will help. If I take all if I take all of these, I can get card block here quite easily. And if I go here, mm, I'm a bit worried about because red should have capped there. What's going to be the better cap? This four or this three? Because I can get card blocked in just two spots later if I take this, but if I go here, I guess it's the same thing. So I'm going to go on the bigger number just to be safer. I'm going to go on the seven, on the four here to make it seven. What do you guys think? Where should I have gone on my cap? Where should I have gone? Because this is what I'm using. So as I said, the first stage of a caps game is to try and work out where you want to go in terms of your cap. And I've developed a little map here that tries to tell you um, how how uh, difficult it is to card block a territory in the late game. And uh, so for example, let's just start here with Eastern Australia. What I'm trying to say is how, if, if this territory was a cap, how easy is it to card block? So I'm assuming that it's hit these two territories here. And I'm trying to, I'm trying to argue that, or find out how many territories would it take to card block this cap if it owned all its surrounding territories. And the answer is one. So you can see there's a white one there. The key point from this map, and, and I've done it for all of them, is you want to be in the black territory where there's lots and lots of um, numbers or lots of troops or territories that they need to use in order to card block. Whoa, I feel like there's someone attacking massively in the background. So I'm going to get back at the, at the action. We're seeing purple roll the yellow cap and they don't get a card. Okay, so I don't think purple's necessarily the best player here either. Milana says, I would have taken the same cap. That's reassuring. All right, so now seven. Well, I don't know why they didn't add to the three. Oh, they didn't lose the troop. Now, actually, because obviously uh, another thing I want to talk about is why are caps more defensive? Why do we play caps? It's because they offer Frankly, more defense. Dear, I don't give um, is, <laughs> is, um, is as soon as... The, the way that caps have more defense to them is that they're defending by rolling three dice instead of two. There goes purple string. Um, so obviously if there's only two cap, two troops left on this cap, then that tells you that it can only roll with two dice anyway. So the, the six on two would have been 100% roll and they actually, um, I'm gonna put one here. And I'm going to put the rest here. You want to try and get your cap as big as possible. And I think the two is more at risk than the five. Okay. I got a cannon. All right. So, yeah, just to, to finish that thought. Um, yeah, the caps have an extra defensive capability because they get to roll three dice instead of two. Now, what does that mean in practice? It means in practice, let's just say the cap's about 100. Right? If the cap's about 100, if it was just a normal territory that wasn't a cap, you'd need something around 100 troops in order to be pretty confident that you can uh, attack that country and or that territory and win. If that 100 
troops is on a cap, you need 200 troops in order to make it 100% roll. So that hopefully gives you an idea of just how much extra defense. You almost need double the troops in order to uh, eliminate a cap that's got 100 troops on it. So hopefully that gives you an idea of why the caps give you so much more defense. All right. Now, what's interesting about the caps connection map is it doesn't take into account blizzards. Oh, hello, Cosmic Cowboy. Welcome. Hello, Andy. Will white or green hit the yellow three cap? Andy, you are Nostradamus in action. Oh, the foo-foo continues, ladies and gentlemen. I love the foo-foo. This is why I don't play in fog. Being able to see the foo-foo of others. Has purple... Was that a bot? Purple has botted. Purple has botted. They tried to roll the cap and... And then instantly gave up on their game. Hello, Seb. So we're going to put purple down as a novice. Yellow is probably a novice. Ready, guys. And, and even... Oh, there goes my four. So much for, the, for that territory not being at risk, guys. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so I just lost a bunch of troops there. But hey, such is life. We're going to move on. How long will you stream for? I'll stream for a few hours, I think. I don't tend to do really long streams. Um, I tend to, to be a little bit on the shorter side, about three or four hours for my streams. So um, I'm usually just trying to get some content going, um, trying to provide some entertainment to my Twitch friends. That's usually my game plan. Uh, and, you, and I work. Uh, I work full time, so I've got to get up early on a Friday morning to go to work. Um, so uh, I usually don't do really, really long streams. You won't catch me doing a 24-hour stream or a 12-hour stream during the week, for example. Okay, is the stream laggy for others or is it just me? Yeah, I'm having to go through my phone. Sorry, guys. I'm having to go through my phone. The uh, local internet's having some issues. Yeah, should be good for a while, Cosmic. Oh, Sebi has news. What news have you got, Seb? Yeah, we have our points back. Yeah, so this account actually, so it's a, this account's at just over 25,000 at the moment, guys. Um, because the account's just over 25,000, it's at Master. When I looked yesterday, it was for some reason up at Grandmaster. So for whatever bug was impacting other people negatively, it actually uh, hit me positively. All right, so let's just take a quick look at proceedings here. I'm going to have a quick look and see if people have got troops. All right, everyone seems to have a pretty good amount of troops. No one's traded in yet. We haven't had three turns. Ah, it was Sebi's last day at his old job today. Congratulations, Seb. All right, does Yellow take Australia here and then fortify out? And you can see just by staying out of trouble, I'm, I'm second in troops here. All these shenanigans early on... Oh, they're not going to go for the bonus straight away. Interesting. Um, yeah, with all these shenanigans going on, and I, I lost, remember, I lost this four here for no good reason in what was non-100% roll from green. Uh, or from yellow, I think it was. My apologies. From yellow. Uh, I've definitely, you know, I should be another four troops above this. So, you know, I would have had the troop lead at this point, basically. Um, so that's what you're trying to do in this second stage. So first stage, you want to pick a cap. The second stage is you're waiting for the sets to get big enough in order to make eliminations profitable. And the secret for me is you want to make your cap as big as possible. So you can see I'm adding all, the, all these here. And then I'm just going to move these across here. And I get a wild card. That's good. Let's see how long we can hang on to it. So, yeah, we're just... What I'm trying to do is keep my... Uh, my stack as big as possible. I'm not going for bonuses. I'm not trying to get in people's way. I'm not trying to do anything fancy at all. I'm just trying to make my cap as big as possible so that people don't want to attack me. They're just not interested. There's nine caps to go for. Uh, there's 10 caps. Obviously, it's going to be a bit hard for them to get into this one. There's a nice eight cap up here. You want to make other people look more juicy than you. And this is my way of trying to avoid getting noob smacked early in the game. 
That's my thoughts on how to try and minimize the RNG in the, in the early game is to make your stack as big as possible. So what I, what I tend to see when other people are playing classic caps is they do a couple of things. One, they try and go for bonuses and add troops elsewhere outside of their cap. And then the second thing they do is they'll take a second cap so that they've got two smaller caps of equal size. Now, there are times when to do this and there's times when not to do it. Um, but my theory is that if you split yourself across two caps, you're actually making yourself easier to eliminate because someone could actually have a pop at one of the, at one of the caps. So unless it's in a really good strategic position, um, I'm not going to be going and splitting my troops across two caps. I know the object of the game and the win condition is to actually uh, get all the caps. I think it's better to try and get all the caps in one turn rather than try and just slowly get more and more caps as the game goes on. I think that makes yourself a little bit easier to kill and makes you more of a target. So if you're trying to reduce the, the role that randomness or RNG plays or the, or, the, or have, getting smacked by noobs, for example, um, try and make your stack as big as possible. Ooh, is there gonna be a cap smack here? I'm not sure what Red is doing there. Okay. I do have a set, but because it's progressive, we know we the sets are just gonna keep going up, so it's better to wait. I don't think I'm at um, risk of being eliminated here. All right, let's keep going. Yeah, I don't think I'm at threat of being eliminated, so I'm gonna hold on to my trades, because progressive, by definition, the cards progress upwards the later that you wait or the more that the sets get traded in. So unless you're, um, as I said, gonna be eliminated, like I don't think I'm really at risk here with this 27 cap. So I'm gonna hold on for as late as possible, hope other people trade and by doing that, I then get a bigger trade. <laughs> yeah, sorry guys. As I said, I'm, I'm going for my phone at the moment and I've turned everything else off. Or at least I thought I had. My daughter would absolutely hate the how many apps I've got open. She gets cranky at me for not turning turning them off because it reduces the battery more quickly. Oh my goodness, I did have a lot of apps open. <laughs> okay, let's see if that improves things a little bit. Yeah, it looks like I'm dropping about 4.7% of my frames. Sorry about that, guys. Again, in between games, I might switch back over and see if the landline's back online. All right. Okay, let's keep going. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Thank you very much, Rumble Stiltskin Jr. Great to have you here. We're doing some classic caps. And look at yellow now. Yellow's got 40 troops just from holding this bonus. This is when it is a little bit risky. In the early game, the size of the bonuses can matter a little bit, right? Um, so I'm going to just add one here. Make it a 100% roll. So... This should bolster my cap up a bit. Let's see how many I lose. I only lose one. That's pretty lucky. And now my cap is even more impregnable. I'm gonna have to use my wild card, aren't I? Awesome. There's an 82% chance I don't have to use my wild card with five cards. Let's just say uh, that's a bit unlucky. All right. Ooh, keeping it classy in classic caps. Absolutely. I'm doing a bit of a how to rank up in classic cap series. So what we've go, gone through so far, Rumpelstiltskin Jr. is you want to put a cap somewhere in the middle of the board here because these territories touch the most territories and those territories touch the most territories. Or in other words, you're trying to pick a cap that is really hard to card block in the late game. What is card blocking? Card blocking is setting up your troops in a way that your opponent can't get cards. Because in the end, these sets get so big, the cards matter way more than the bonuses. And card blocking someone is actually sometimes the only way to progress the game. 
So that's why I'm really focused on not trying to pick a good early game cap like Siam, where you can protect a plus two. I'm foregoing the early game benefits of having a bonus. Uh, I want the late game bonus, the benefits, I should say. I want the late game benefits of being more difficult to card block. That is what I'm going for, guys. And the other good thing here, guys, is that um, my, my, the, the yellow cap isn't open to my stack here. You can see that they've blocked themselves off with a three and the one. So the 33 can't come around and get me. Well, unless they go all the way around, but that's clearly not going to work. There's a few caps in the way. Um, I do feel lost sometimes watching caps as a new player. Well, Rumpelstiltskin, uh, please feel free to ask whatever questions you want. So I've picked a bonus or a capital, I should say, that's out of the way. I don't want it to be in a bonus that people fight for. And I'm trying to, in the second stage, so after you've picked your cap, the second stage is to keep your cap as big as possible. Just make one attack per turn and fortify back to cap. Um, that's all you've got to do. All right, so do I want to hold on to... I might hang on to Kamchaka rather than Great Bitten. And I'll hang on to Middle East rather than Venezuela. There's a small chance I might be able to hold these later. Um, look, it doesn't really matter. So I'm just going to put everything here. I'm already kind of blocked off here, guys. So I don't think it really matters that I'm blocking myself off this way. Famous last words, maybe. All right, and it looks like I do have a set on three if I need it. That's good to know. So yeah, second stage, just get your cap as big as possible. And what you're waiting for is you're waiting for the sets to get big enough in order to make eliminations profitable. So at the moment, the sets are only at 15. Everybody's got way more than 15 troops. Plus you need to take into account that the caps offer better defense. So you're probably going to lose more than you think. I tend to normally just double what's on the cap and use that as a guide as to what you could potentially lose to try and work out if eliminations are possible. So again, you can see that the sets being at 15, it's just, or now at 20, the sets are way too small to think about eliminating people. I'm just trying to set myself up for later in the game and do, and, uh, and make the eliminations once it's actually profitable. Now, the key person that I think I can eliminate here is the bot. They've only got 28 troops and they don't have a cap. So I'd have to go up here, attack there, leave some there, and then come down here and eliminate purple this way. I have to go through, as I said, if it was if it was at the moment, for example, I'd have to go through 16 other troops in order to, I beg your pardon. Well, actually I could bypass the eight and come around this way. It'd be a little bit less, but I'd have to add 12 more troops to what purple's got. So at the moment, it's gonna take me, well, now things have opened up a bit, but about 40 troops is how much purple would have. I think the expected value on that is usually one and a half every 10 troops that you should expect to uh, expect to have left over. So I'd probably lose about 35 troops trying to eliminate purple at the moment, something around there. The sets are only at 20. They've got three cards, so you know eliminating them only gets me 20 troops. It's a little bit too early, and I guess I can now go around this way and eliminate them if I wanted to eliminate purple. So you can see there's a nice a nice circular loop there now. I've still just got to get through this white seven. What did they try and roll there? They tried to roll a 2v1 manual roll. Okay. Is it worth eliminating anyone? As I said, it's only purple that's even worth thinking about. We know that they are, are not worth eliminating just yet. So I'm going to try and hit the cheapest card possible. I probably could have added three over here. That might have been a little bit better. I'd be only hitting a one then. And I lose three troops. I get punished for that. I get punished for attacking the two rather than hitting the one. So these are the little things that can matter. Um, I could have put three here. It wouldn't have been able to come back to cap, but it might have eventually been able to do so. Now the other option for me here is to take green out of Japan. But I'm not going to do that just yet. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure it really progresses the game that much. It does progress it a little bit, I have to admit. On my next trade, I might take green out of there. I'll let these, I'm just letting these guys go to war on each other. 
and we'll see how we go. Now, is it going to be a worth? Now the white seven is gone. The white seven has now been removed. Oof. And purple's losing troops left, right, and center. They're going to be on four cards now. They're going to be on four cards. So it's now going to be worth it for me to eliminate purple. I've got to go through a green one and two yellow ones. So I'm really eliminating 26 troops. The expected value for that would be about 23 I'd lose. So I'm not sure it's worth it from just a straight up troops point of view. But sometimes the troops part doesn't really matter, guys. Sometimes what's more important is progressing the game. And from a progressing the game point of view, I think it might be worth it to eliminate them, um, eliminate them right now. And of course, yellow kill guards it. So now I have to reevaluate because now there's three plus the eight. That makes 11 on top, it's 31. Now it's 31 troops to get 20. Now I'm setting in for the 20, so it's actually 25. I'm setting in for the 20, so it'd actually be a 25 set. I still think it's worth it, guys. Just in terms of progressing the game. I think it's worth it. Okay. Now I know I've got a set already, because I had the set on three. And I do get to take out three of Yellow's troops as well. So do I want to hang on to Middle East or South Africa? Doesn't really matter, but Middle East is probably more likely. 75 troops, and then let's go. I'm going to use the slider. So hopefully there's some... Hopefully there's some information there about uh, when to make the elimination. Now this is the one I don't want to really get done over on. I lose six troops. All right, so I've still got a bit of time here, guys. And the, the clock's gonna, I know the clock's gonna reset. I know the clock's gonna reset once the elimination's through, because I'm gonna have five cards. Okay, Middle East or Brazil. Um, Middle East, I think, is probably the best bet. But then I'm going to put it all on my cap here. And I don't think I can eliminate anyone else. So I'm going to end and then go back to home base. All right. So you can see now I've got a pretty handy lead, but I'm a card behind, a card or two behind people here. So it might not, as I said, I wonder how much, I wonder how much I actually lost through all of that. Um, and of course, all these ones are going to get eaten up. Yeah, so I, I probably would have been better off not to eliminate them from a troops point of view. But as I said, from a progressing the game point of view, it was definitely worth it. You don't want the bots getting too big. They kind of ruin the game in a way because um, people don't go after them because they know they can eliminate the bot in last. Um, and what happens is people let them grow out of control and it really is quite slow at progressing the game. Ooh. Oh, they lost 28 there. So I could have potentially, I didn't look at red. Maybe I wasn't lined up on them, but now red's dead as well. And white's got that elimination. I'm not open to get white, unfortunately. And then the white player trades in turn and they've got a pretty good hold here. Not bad play. So they've got 85 troops and four cards. So I know they're nine points behind at the moment, but each card's worth around 13 troops. So I've just divided 40 by three because that's how many you need to turn in in order to get the 40. So they're actually a little bit ahead of me at the moment. Um, so be it. All right, so here comes yellow. What are they going to do? Uh, I don't have any bonuses. So there's no reason for people to go hardcore after me. And I'm, if, if, I, if I have my way, guys, I'm never going to open up. I'm never going to open up this cap. All right, and you can see now that yellow is ahead of me. I get eight troops from holding all these territories. That's pretty handy. Uh, what do I want to hit is the question. There's a one here. There's a two here. Or there's a one here. I don't want to open up these two, as I said. I think hmm. 
I think I'm just going to attack the one, guys. I don't need to annoy Green just yet. And I'm not going to open their cap, obviously. And I'm going to put this back here. And I get a wild. All right, let's see how long we can hang on to this one for. The first time I said that, I didn't get to hang on to it very long at all. Okay, so the green players got 45 troops here. Do they try and eliminate me? Let's see how good green is now, right? Yeah, see, they're just taking a card and passing. I think green's a good player here, guys. I think green might be a good player. So white isn't bad. I'm going to put white at maybe intermediate. Red, not so good. I'll put them at beginner. And um, purple was a bot. They bought it out straight away. And then who am I missing? People, yellow. Oh, red. Yeah, I got red, white, red. Purple, yellow. Red, white, green. Yeah, I think green's a pretty good player. I think green might be a master. I think green might be a master, guys. All right, what's white going to do now? They're taking up a long time to think. Rat roll. Is that my internet connection again? Please don't let it be my internet connection. Okay. Let's keep going. Okay. I think I might have just fixed something, guys. I forgot to turn my Wi-Fi off on my phone. So, um... All right. Is it possible for someone to eliminate me? Green could have a trade here, guys. What are the sets at? The sets are at 50. The sets are at 50. He'd have 150 troops. This is one of those situations where I think I'm actually going to trade early. I'm going to break some rules here, guys. And I'm going to trade early. Uh, Eastern Australia or Ontario. Let's get rid of Eastern Australia. I'm just going to make sure my cap is safe. I'm just going to remove temptation. So you'll notice earlier I said, don't trade early until, unless you can be eliminated. I think having five cards at this stage of the game puts a big, big um, target on your back. This is an obvious move to progress the game here, guys. By taking green out. And I lose 13 troops. I'm not, I haven't been getting some good rolls there, guys. And I don't want a dude. And I get a dude. So I don't have a set on four. That's a shame. All right. So what does green do now? This is a big question. Are they gonna, is he going to hit it? So this is how I was progressing the game. He loses 130 troops, guys. Alrighty. No way. Thought you were from Uzbekistan. Oh, yeah. That must be my father's side. <laughs> uh, great to have you in here. As I said, I'm trying to do an instructional caps video. And I'm actually trying to show people how to progress the game quickly so they don't get into massive stalemates. Um, but unfortunately, it's not always in your control. Okay, so now, now what I can do is put some troops, whatever he leaves here, I can hit those. Okay. And I can push white into yellow. I mean, unless green, if green does, goes that, does that, and then goes back though, that wouldn't be good for me. Oh, and yellow breaks. Oh, because he was card blocked. 
Okay, so he actually, it looks like he got out of the way to give Yellow that card. Okay, that's fine. Okay, now I don't have a set here, guys, so I need to just be a bit careful about antagonizing too many people. I'm going to just see what green does on the next turn. I'm just going to take this one first of all because it's a nice cheap card. And then I get a set in this turn for sure. And now I get to think about how else to progress the game. Because I could almost card block all of these guys into each other. Does he stay there? This is my question. Does he stay there or does he pull back? And he stays there. Okay. Nope. Oh. I spoke too soon. All right. So I'm still well behind. I'm ahead of green now at least. But you can see that I'm a good 120 and 160 troops behind these guys. Okay. Oh, white didn't want to be broken there, guys. White did not like it. Okay, this is good. That tells me that white isn't the greatest player. And you can see now I'm only 140 behind yellow and 80 behind white. So I'm just going to keep getting these guys to go into each other. Yellow sets. He's not going to be happy with that either. He's a bit of a bonus grabbing Barry. That's what I call people that just like bonuses. Let's see what yellow does here. Do they take their bonus first? And then do they just chill there? No, they do not. All right, this is good. The two biggest guys on the board are fighting each other. This is what you want, guys. Aha, okay, good. Now, I've got a trade. I may as well use this guy. And then do I want to keep Venezuela or East Africa? They both seem a world away. All right. Now, these guys are fighting at each other. Uh, are fighting each other. And the principle that you normally want to do when guys are fighting each other is to do as little as possible. Move. Take your turn as quickly as possible. And that let you don't want to let them calm down. You want to let the tensions flare up. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just going to move quickly and let these guys go at it a bit. Okay, so there's an easy card block on green. Remember how I had this connection map earlier? For those of you that haven't seen it. 50 bits, he hits the 200. Ooh, he doesn't. You owe me 50 bits. But his turn's not over yet. His turn's not over yet. And and you know, Tim, I'm not after your I'm not after your biddies. Oh, I thought you might have been right then, Tim. I thought you might have been right. Oh, I got my hopes up. I got my hopes up. I just said, just kidding, before it happened on my end. Oh, is that when you think it counts? No, there was offer and acceptance, cool, Tim. There was offer and acceptance. It's, it's when I receive the invitation, not when you rescind it. I used to study, I did, I did, uh, I went and studied law. Um, <laughs> and so that, that's, that's Australian law. I don't know if it's UK law. All right, so this is great for me, right? These guys are going at it. I don't have to worry about dying now. Now, the question for me, though, is, is can I, do I want to card block green while I'm at it here, guys? Look, there's, there's enough going on at the moment that I don't think I need to do anything. So I'm just gonna ch I'm just gonna chill for a little while. How can a noob become a lawyer? Well, I didn't become a lawyer in the end. I, I didn't particularly like it. Uh, all the people that were studying, I have to admit, I mean, I, I made some great friends there, but they were very different. Um, a very different. Uh, type of people than, than my economics degree, which I eventually did. And I actually became an economist, which is even worse than a lawyer, right? But don't worry, I'm not an economist anymore. All right, what's happening here? Oh my God, they're going into the 233. Oh, oh, damn it. I thought they were going to leave it there and we could card block yellow. But it just shows. So now you owe me 50. Well, I think you owed me 50 bits. 
initially called Tim. And then I, I'm pretty sure I've got to give it back to you. All right, so I'm quite happy letting these guys go at it now. Have a look at the troops. They've really evened out. The troops have really evened out again now, guys. Slam the cat. Are you just going to leave it there parked in his face? Are you going to park it? You're going to park it there in his face. It's, it's not an effective card block, right? Unfortunately, I'm, I'm using up all my cards around me now, guys. But again, when people are fighting, don't stand in the way. Take your turn quickly. There's, there's a big psychology when it comes to risk. Uh, this is definitely all Risky Phil's teaching. He's the best at the psychology of the game, in my opinion. And then he says, yeah, when people are fighting, just do not. Do not target, do not hit them. All right, so Green, are you really gonna open up White's cap? Is that what you're saying? You should have moved the 24 over there in my opinion. I think that would have been safer. You don't wanna open up people's caps against you. Oh, there goes the 161. And I'm now the troop leader. I am now the troop leader. Oh man. Alrighty. And are they going to park it in? Are they going to park it here? No, don't keep opening him up. Oh, are they going to go the card block? Is white better than I thought, guys? Is white better than I thought? I think we need to upgrade white's skill level, guys. If they fortify some from the 83 up here, just put, just put it all there and put... Yeah, 10's good enough. Oh, that is well played. Well played, sir. Uh, one, it gives me a lot of cards, but oh, they didn't put enough. That's what I mean. So they're not quite that good, because this should work. Yep. Oh, and then they do that. Okay. But they've got three cards now. They needed to just move all the 19 across and then bring some from the 83 up. All right, uh, do I want to hang on to Northern Europe or Northwest Territory? Uh, East Africa, well, <laughs> uh, let's see here. I don't think it really matters, guys. Let's, uh, the, what am I worrying about plus twos for, guys? Please tell me what I'm worrying about plus twos for. Now, where's yellow going to get it? Where's white going to get a card? They can get a card up there. Okay, fine. So I could have card skipped, uh, sorry, card blocked green as well. But you don't want to pick a fight with two people at once. Oh my god, you fucking noob. Yeah, exactly. Hello, Sebi. All right, so let's get going. So green now trades. They're going to get a card there. They're not going to open up the white cap. Okay. All right, this is good. This is progressing a little bit now, at least. Okay, good. So green actually gives white cards up here so that white can maintain the card block here. So put them there. You've got to put one up on here to make it a four on one. Yep, that'll do. And you take up here. Perfect. And the game is progressing. Now we find out if yellow's got a set on three. Now we find out if yellow has a set on three. Let's see if this three disappears. It does, ladies and gentlemen. It does. Who does it go into? It goes into white, of course. They set up the card block. I just helped. Oh, loses 60 troops. You love to see it, guys. Oh, my goodness. And they're just breaking everything. Is that the end of their turn? Oh, they're going to open up green as well. They did get a lucky set on three. That's a 42% chance on the classic map, by the way, guys. 42% chance of a set on three. They hit it. Do I have a set on three if I need it? I do not. All right, well, it's getting more interesting. 
there was definitely a phase there where it didn't really do a lot. Um, just put the four there, the four and one to make it a hundred percent. And then hopefully white reinstitutes the card block. Let's see if green wants to help. Is green going to be a, a, a friend and help? Looks like they are going to be. Are they, or are they going to try and eliminate yellow? That's another possibility. I wouldn't recommend it. No, it looks like they're going for... Well, let's see. No, that would be consistent with both card block and the elimination. If they attack again, it's elimination. No, nope, they're going to help out with the card block. These guys are not novices. Well played, sir. Why? <laughs> Yellow says why. Is that the... Uh, oh, why it is. All right. Okay, so why is Mrs. Noob No More saying that? I'm going to fix up Noob, Mrs. Noob No More in a sec. Let me fix up that command. All right, so White's now trying to work out what to do. There's cards all over the place. I'm hoping my internet connection isn't down again. When yellow bots take Siam and do the old Australia bot farm, I could do that. Well, yellow and white were in a war, you see, Milano. It wasn't for no reason. Uh-oh, I always get a bit worried. Uh-oh, that looks like a bot. Have we got a white bot here, guys? A white bot. A white bot. This is fine. This is fine. Would mean the end of the card block. That's what a white bot would mean. Yep, there goes the card block, says Cool Tim. Absolutely. Now, what's yellow do? They are card blocked. Do I have a set on four? I do have a set on four. Yeah, yellow is the one breaking everyone. That's right. Now yellow's botting out as well. Are we going to get a double bot out? Is that what's going to happen here, guys? I want that son of a bitch dead. I want you to get this fuck where he breathes. I want him dead. I want his family dead. I want his house burnt to the ground. I want to go to the middle of the night. I want to piss on his ass. Oh, man. Two bot outs. Oosh. All right. Let's see what's going on here exactly. I, do I have to block my stack off? It's not ideal. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, card block greens once he sets. That's my thoughts exactly. Is if white and yellow are bots, I need to come in here and card block him. Particularly, I want him to be card blocked before he gets um, before he gets one of these caps. That's what I'd like to see. But he doesn't trade. And I'm going to have to trade before him, which is not ideal. All right, let's see what happens now. Is white offline? White is offline, guys. You can see it right here. This could be ugly. This could be ugly. Does it break? Does it open? Doesn't open. Is that all it does? No. Nope. <laughs> it keeps the card block. It keeps the card block though, guys. Okay, there's no point card blocking green when they're on five cards. Is yellow still with us? Yellow's offline as well. Oh, no. Because this 539 is just going to fortify out. Oh, 
It's okay. Okay. Whew. Nothing to think about there. Hang on a sec. All right, I can't get to this cap. Green's going to be able to get to this cap. I'd have to go through 149 to get to it. Is it worth it? I think it might be, you know. In terms of progressing the game, I think it's going to be worth it. Didn't get enough of a fortification off. Yeah. Thank goodness I got the JJ mouse. But give me one sec, please, guys. I didn't get enough of a fortification off. Let's see what happens. I'll be back in a sec. Okay. And I have a set. This is good. Okay. That's good. Oof. All right. Yes, good night. My, I was just saying good night to my family. Sorry, guys. All right, so obviously had to go through a lot of troops then. But I think it's going to be worth it. And I do have a set on three as well. Oh, I needed to maybe take this territory. I don't want this 15 to attack the one. And these guys are both still offline. Okay. All right, that helps me a bit. Yeah, it's 850 for me. Oh, 200. Ooh, okay, well, that works too. That works too. That works too. So he's going to get three for the normal um, holding some troops, two for the bonus of South America, and two for the cap. So they're going to have seven. So I need to put say 12 or something here. And we're going to get some bottom bot action. These bots are going a bit crazy. Okay, so. All right, so I need to put I need to be acting a bit quicker than this, guys, I have to admit. So I'm going to... Spreading myself around a few caps here, guys. And is he going to fortify out? Yes. That was the problem with this strategy. All right. I could leave the 300 cap. You're right. Oh, 661. Okay, can I cap run here, guys? I want this 312 to move. I've already got three caps. I just need this 312 to move. Oh, I can't get to this cap. Okay. I can't get to this cap. I don't have enough. No, no, and there goes that black 20. All right. Okay, so he goes in there anyway. Oh, good. Okay. All right, that's very expensive cards for, very expensive cards for him. Mm 
and I kept my 20. Now the problem is, where's my card? My, this is my card right here. Okay, it hits that one, and then hits this one. Okay, I don't get to keep the 20 after all. So this is what I mean about bots uh, slowing the game down a bit, guys. But my target is green. Okay, so I couldn't have cap run anyway. So I'm going to need to protect this cap. Oh, actually, I need to protect this cap quite a bit as well. Because he can come in and take this cap. And that's okay. I don't mind if he takes the cap. So what I'm going to do is just take this here. Um, if I put 20 there, and that's going to be 380. Oh, no, I'd have to put 20 here. Oh, actually, I can put, put a bit more, can't I? If I make both of these caps like 360... Well, it's only on two cards. That should do. Okay. Let's see if that works. So I've sacrificed this 20 for the greater good. Let's see if he can if he wants to go for one of these cap rolls. Is he alive? He's alive. Okay. This cap isn't very well defended. This cap is not very well defended, guys. White doesn't have a set. Oof, all right, so what are my options here? My options are I can leave this set, leave this. I would then have to... Can I double tap? Am I going to be able to double tap? Oh, when he gets a... Th he's going to get a cheap 35 card here now, guys. All right, so we've still got to progress the game against two bots, if you can believe it. Now, I do have the potential here of making my caps a lot stronger. White could potentially... So this could potentially become a 350 cap. I don't want it to roll. I think it might be better. This cap... Well, no, but if I leave this cap... Then green takes it. And if green takes it, then I don't get it back again. I want him to roll a big a big stack. Okay, so my cheapest card is a three here. I mean, I should have put more over there, but anyway. Okay. Do I have a set on three? I do have a set on three, guys. I do have a set on three. Why wouldn't you want him to roll one of your caps? Yeah, exactly. I do want him to roll one of my caps. The only thing is, I'm getting a bit of pressure here. I do want him to roll one of my caps. I want him to get impatient. So he's going to leave 641 there. And then he moves it back. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. So I now know that I can take these two caps easily. I've got three caps. I win if I get to six. So I need to have... 500 to beat this cap. I need to, oh, I want, I want, I wanted white to go one step further. I need to give the bot, yellow bot something else to do. Yeah, he's pretty good green. But I'm going to just try and get him to eat up his remaining cards. Now he's on five cards, but that's okay. I'm just going to trade in, defend my caps. And see if I can win the game that way.
So if I was here, I need 500, 600. I need like 700 here, guys. I need 700 here to go in and roll this last cap. Okay, this isn't bad for me. I've now got a 26 here. Okay, do I, do I set in or not? Or do I try and get him to... I think I'll trade in here, guys, because the yellow bot's going to go and maybe give him some cards. I've got some relatively cheap cards, the 22s, the 18s. Okay, so he's going to have 800. So I need to make this... I don't want to make them. I don't want to leave, let him have 100% uh, rolls. So it's going to be 800. So if 500 is fine, and then I've just got to hurry here, guys. Okay. Caps are all cosy. Green can't really get to me. All right, he gets his 210 troops. But he's gonna start running out of cards here, guys. He can use this 38. Yeah, so now he's adding to the cap. Ooh, yeah, I would have had 400 there. It wouldn't have been enough. I couldn't do the cap roll. Okay, so which way does he block himself off? So he's still got three more cards here. Let's see what happens. I really only need to set up the win condition to get this cap. If I can do that, then, I, then I'm gonna win. So if I can hit these off cap troops or something like that, that's gonna be fine. Okay. So my chances of fortifying this have gone back into these guys, but I didn't want to leave it because he goes after me. If I left this cap, he would have gotten a very, very cheap cap. I couldn't leave it. So that's fine. Okay, so I get nine troops here. I don't want to weaken this because I don't want to do that. Hello, Mr. Splatula. Thank you very much for the raid, sir. Great to have you. We've got a bit of a stalemate caps game here. Now, the 600... I'm, I'm going to start stacking this one. Because the 600 stack... How was the rest of your stream, Mr. Splatula? That was a long one. What's happened to it's not good plan to take multiple caps? Well, in this case, it's it's a good plan to take multiple caps if it's to progress the game. So, for me, it was to progress the game. Oh, are they gonna, are they eliminating white on five cards? Oh, I didn't even think about that. I didn't even think, I'm not, I'm, but that's okay. They're going through a lot of troops here. I'm just gonna say, well played. How are they going to roll one of my caps now? Because this will be about 300. And he's going to get 500. He'll get 200 more troops. Does he try and roll it? I'm okay if he tries to roll it. That's okay with me. Um, it's a good idea to take caps when it progresses the game or if it stops someone else from being able to progress the game later. All right. Does he try and roll this cap? If he's as good as we think he is, guys, I don't think he's going to. Why hit multiple caps positioning? Yeah. So I needed, in order for me to be able to card block him, I needed to prevent him from getting this cap. Let's see what he does here. Is he going back to home base? He's not going to try and roll the cap. He's going to take the Siam cap instead. And then he gets the permanent bot farm. Okay. And he adds 37 there. Okay. 
Mm. Okay. And unfortunately for me, this I needed to take more off here. If I'd thought about it, this 160 can't get me anymore. If I'd had more here, mm, I still wouldn't be able to... Oh, yes. Okay, so my question here now, guys, is do I take him out of here? I wish it opened up this cap. If it opened up this cap, it'd be GG's. I'd be able to go down here. Oh man, if this cap was open, guys. He's on three cards. I'm gonna see if I can get him next time, because 350 minus 70 is uh, 280. I'd really need this to be 320 to do anything. Okay. Hundred and sixty. Mm. Okay. Now the question is, I could take him out of here so that he doesn't get a permanent um, card bot farm. If I take him out of EU, yeah, I, you know what? That's what I am actually going to do. I got a set on three. This is the time I needed a set on three and I've got it. I've got the set on three. Oh, and I meant to, oh, I mucked up there, guys. I mucked up. Okay, this makes it easier for me to get him. I think I can card, I think I can go this turn. Can I not? I think I can, yeah, I needed to pull some of the 486 off. I was just thinking one step too shy here, guys. Oh, and he goes back to cap. Okay, he was he's smart. He's smart. Seven ninety-one. Okay. 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 Now he's on four cards, so there's no point card blocking him next turn. Yeah, smacks him off cap troops. That's what I was thinking as well. That's what I was thinking as well. I can't card block him now. I mean, he's because he get, gets these yellow cards. I mean, he's got all of Australia to farm, right? He's got all of Australia to farm. Two hundred thirty-four should be about right. Hello, Fabian. Great to see you. So make sure you use the slider. It should be about thirty-four troops. Again, okay, five, four troops there, and then this is the big one. So one hundred and sixty. All right, I've card blocked him here, but he, I'm gonna force him. Yeah, this game has taken a while. Yeah, we've got, we had two bot outs. Oh, and he trades, he trades. Is he gonna go for the yellow kill? Should I have gone for the yellow kill? 478 troops for 235? No, wouldn't have been worth it. If he knows how to card farm the bot, it could be trouble, I agree. Okay, so he's going to take some troops off me there. He makes five troops back. Let's have a quick look. So we're about equal on troops, but he's ahead of card. All right, so I just need to find some cheap cards here, guys. And keep going. You know what it's like, Cosmic, when, these, when, the, when you get the bot outs like this. When you get the bot outs like this, it's, it's pretty tough to be able to progress the game. Oh, 57 on 29. Will it roll it? Will it roll it? It does! 
All right. Um, do I take him out? No, because he's got he's not card blocked. He's not card blocked at the moment. All right. Um, <clears throat> All right, now how many do I want here? Uh, so if he's getting one for 150, the sets are over 200, so he'd have 350. So I need to keep this at... ...369. Get myself into a better attacking position. Now he can farm me for some cards here, but you know that when it's my next set, I'm going to be hitting him again. He hits that again! All right, looks like he is doing the card farm strategy. I might need to take him out here, guys. I might need to take him out. The problem is, is if I take him out, if I take him out, does he get a cheap cap? Well, the bot trades in again. Oh, why aren't you going for the cap again? Oh, and now that makes it more expensive for me to go through him. Oh, man. Mm. That's not ideal. That's not ideal. Yeah, it would have been great if the bot hit the 143. I agree. That's a bit of a dream, though. Okay. So I'm obviously going to hit this to try and break it up. Actually, we'll put a bit more there. You'll see what I'm thinking of doing in a minute. Trying to get this big stack to move. All right, have I got a set on three? I've had some good luck with cards recently. Not this time. Oh, he's going to let the bot in behind him, is he? Ah, oh, okay, he's doing that. So what I did there was to try and get behind the bot so that it'll attack and it'll take some of the pressure off this 353. So I don't have to worry about this and it'll open things up a bit. That's what I'm trying to do, guys. 502. So I need to have a stack of 890 in order to be able to win here, guys. That's some ways away. We're at 250 now on the sets. You should still take the cap in, so I am believe. Makes the card block easier later on. Yeah, but I don't want to, if I take this cap, if I take, oh, he's gone that way. That's not the way I wanted. My bonus. <laughs> um, I just don't know. Oh. Now, if he has a set on four here, he'll get 750. So I want to make this. Seven fifty versus four twenty. All right. We'll make 469 this time. Okay, that's my game plan. Yeah, before he added into China. I know, but the same point still applies. If I went ham on these caps and got some bad rolls, I lose all of them. And I don't want to... And at that point, green could have come around this way and taken the cap. 
And then it would have been all for nothing. Are they going to double tap? Okay, so he's taking me out of there. And he can move quickly. That's good to know as well. Oh, is he going to take Australia? Please take Australia. No, he didn't take Australia. All right, have I got a set on four? I do have a set on four. Hmm. Now he's back on two cards. I doubt he, I doubt he could have gone back for cheap caps. Oh man, so that's opened him up again. So yeah, the turn order's not great for me here, I have to admit. The turn order's not great for me. Well, I know he doesn't have a set this time. I don't need to trade. Now, I'm, I'm at a bit of a loss here, guys, as to know what to do, I'm going to be honest. I got a 34 here. He could double tap this cap. He could come through and double tap it. I, should I be afraid of that? I think I, I think I am actually. Greenland, Northern Europe. That sounds like a skill issue, friend. Okay, so he's got 800 troops. So I need to at least take this up to 500. And I've got 39 left over. Actually, I'm just going to put them all there. <clears throat> this is going to be another long game. This game may be a game before you just survive until you get a favorable turn or two. Yep. And it's a bit of a shame. I like to be someone that pushes the action a bit more. Okay, that's good. He's only got one more cheap card there, guys. And he's taking them way too early. I'd be, I'd be leaving. I'd be leaving those for ages. Now, how do I get through? Can I knock out this 510? Okay, so I'm getting 33 and 35. That's not too bad. Okay. He's on three cards. <sighs> okay. I'm just going to keep taking the cheapest cards here, guys. Because that cap can be double tapped. But he'd, he could lose a thousand troops if he does that, right? I'm quite happy if he hits that cap. Have I got a set on three? No. Okay, so he's going to take the 27 here, guys. He's getting slightly cheaper cards than me. So he's still... I'm up 100... Well, 80 troops, but he's up a card. And a card's worth about 80. So this is very equal. Okay, I think that helps me, that move. So the bots tend to the bonds the bots tend to cap or stack I should say next to big numbers. So we don't want him to add here in Australia. That's where we do not want the bot to stack. He puts five there. Okay, so the bot's gonna be on five cards here, guys. Is it worth eliminating him? For 250? No, because then I'd be card blocked straight after. Don't attack. Don't attack it. No, leave it. Fail. <laughs> I don't know how a 4v1 is going to fail. But I, if, if, he, if this green one ever doesn't get taken, then... Um, oh, you want... He's saying... Oh, is that saying... All right. If you want to, if you want to give me the win... All right. So I'm first of all going to take... Oh, actually, I've got a cheap one here.
Let's see if he let's see if he does it. Because he can eliminate yellow here. He might have just said, I was wondering if he just said he's had enough. He could potentially take out the bot here. But it looks like he is. But it looks like he is, guys. Is he gonna give me the win? Is he giving me the win? Go to the 170, go to the 100. No, don't do that. Don't do that, you just blocked yourself. Oh, it's all right, it's all right. He's gonna go to the five cards. I think green has had enough, guys. He's running out of time here, guys. All right. I think that's giving me the win as well. Please tell me I've got a set on four. I do. Yeah, well played. 924. I'm 500 troops up now, guys. He's getting 515. What does he do? Do we playing on or is he going to step off the caps? Are we playing on or is he stepping off the caps? No? And he wants to play on. I've got this one covered. 329. could score Iceland. We'll go Iceland. The question is, is 645 enough against 329? I think it is, right? I can cut I can cap run here. I believe I can cap run. That requires 660 to be two times. Yeah, I think this is 100%. And this is 290, which requires 580. Let's see if I'm right, guys. Good game. Well played, sir. And we get the win! We get the dub! Let's go! Redemption Arc finally comes up with the goods. That was a much longer game than I was anticipating or wanting. I'm not going to lie. But um, I got the cap run in the end. Woo! All right. What do we think the ranks were, guys? This was a really interesting game. What do we think the caps were, the, the, the ranks were? I've got purple and yellow at novices, white and intermediate, red at beginner, and green's a master. Green could be a GM. They lost a bit of patience. All novices, says Seppi. Let's have a look. Beginner, 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 master, and intermediate. Wow, that's pretty good. So I had purple and yellow at novices. They were, in fact, beginners. I said white was an intermediate. They were, in fact, an intermediate. Red was a beginner. I had them at beginner. And green I had at master. I'm going to see if they want to be friends after that. That was a cracking game by Nell. If you do see this, um, fantastic playing with you. Thank you for ending it early. That was going to be a long drawn out end game. Well played for second, sir. All right. Uh, if you do like this uh, kind of content, again, it was a bit longer and more boring than I wanted it to be. Uh, please drop a subscribe. I am really trying to grow the channel. Uh, I really want to increase my influence in the game and I think I've got some really good videos to share and some are entertaining, some are informative and some will be at the competitive tournament end of the spectrum as well. So if you do want to catch any of that, uh, please drop a subscribe. Catch you guys in the next one. Bye.